Look, I haven't even changed yet. I'm shooting as many videos as I can in one day again. So a lot of these videos are gonna be probably spread out over the coming months. I'm super, super busy. But I, you know, I hope I can edit these from home and I got all the shots that I need. So I'm gonna do some, some shorter, faster videos, few ones for you guys. I hope you don't mind. But thank you so much for all your support. And what's up you guys? Welcome back to Big Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty, how are you watching Beamus? Right, review sets like this you probably never seen before. If you don't like what I'm doing, suck my brick. That's gonna be my new slogan, man. For all you haters out there. Even if you love alternative bricks, you can suck my brick in a good way. Today we're gonna look at D Cool. Brick Cool. I love these guys so much for doing like crazy, crazy sets. Yes, I saw these coffee machines. I'm like, um, I wonder how these are gonna be. I built the first one. I'm like, dude, these are so good. If you're a coffee lover, not a coffee shop, thank goodness. Or you're a barista, you wanna have some coffee machines in your, your office or your Starbucks, man. Starbucks management guys out there, you wanna buy some from us? Go ahead, man, order these. I think these are absolutely amazing. We're gonna look at three today, all out of order. I told Ida, who runs the store, by the way, who's taking care of you guys, my wife, I told her, pick the machines for me. She chose three, and they were so good that I actually bought some more. So if you like this, if you comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, let me know if you want to see the other ones or the other ones I have. I'll build them and review them for you too. Of course you do. Why don't we build everything? Damn, I have no time, man. I need more Scotties in this office. So what you're looking at is from D Cool. These are the Block Coffee Machine Series. The small little guy is called Summer Evening. Venetian Grinder, so it's a grinder. 16803, 283 plus pieces. The next one we're looking at, which the first one I built and I thought was a freaking amazing, is called Summer Evening Venetian Coffee Machine. 16802, 646 pieces. Look at all them chrome pieces. And finally, the classic coffee machine, 16809, 678 pieces. I have all the boxes here. Let me slide these out of the way so you can see them. This is the first one here that we're gonna look at. And very nice box. If you can get the box, great. If you don't wanna pay for the box, this thing will be shrunk down to half the size of this box. And as I mentioned, even for us, when we order some of these sets, they get totally damaged, man. So this one is actually in pretty good condition. I like the tone and the color. And I was thinking, ah, oh, this is gonna suck, dude. It's not gonna be such a great set. Yo, no stickers and totally solid durable, amazing. There's nothing in here except another inner box. There was something in here, the inner inner folding, folding thing, but nothing else there. Okay, nice box, we'll get rid of this one. The second one, which is my favorite one, has a very nice box too. They all have this embossed feel to it and it has the cartoony look of the set. Does not represent the final one. The final one's actually better. I was like, oh, damn. But look at the back. Oh my goodness, what the hell did this thing go through? Well, there's all the detail. Yeah, man. Words can't describe what this is like because it was so much fun to put together. Is it perfect? It's not perfect, but still pretty good. Anything inside? Oh yeah, it has the inner box. I'm just gonna tear the box. It's all jacked up anyway. There you go. That's the inner box part. Hey man, good presentation. These guys are all stepping up their game, man. They have to, they wanna survive. Last one is the classic coffee machine box there. Very cool, I like it. I like how each one's like totally different tone from one another. There's the back side. Look at that rip. Let it rip. Whoa. Oh, well, the inside one's pretty cool there. I like it. Okay, those are the boxes. How are the manuals? All three manuals are right in front of me here. One, two, three, there. Super, super easy to read if I open one there, or easy to figure out the parts of where they go. The second one is like that. Last one there, there you go. And then on the back side, I have a couple like, what, what, what else is available? You want me to get this one? Did I get this one? I don't even know, I can't look when I go home. This one has the whole series there. Look at that. Which one you like? All of them. I think this is the same. Yeah, this, this is the same, right? There you go. So this is the first one, the Venetian Grinder. This is like super, super solid. No functions or features or anything, which is unfortunate. I mean, it's just a display piece, all prints. There are no stickers on these sets. And I love the, the color. 
But this one's just kind of weak compared to everything else because it's so small and it's like, oh, that's it, there's nothing, there's nothing cool I can do with this thing. If I show you here, look at that. I love the chrome pieces though. It has a little knob thing there. And you know what? I never used a grinder in my life, sorry man. I just buy my coffee. It has a little handle here that can probably rip off. It's all hollow on the inside. There's like nothing in the inside of this thing. You can't open it up or anything. There's the back. I like the color though. Side. So the side is kind of plain. There's nothing there except for like the little vent area. You coffee experts, please let me know if this is a good grinder or if it represents a nice grinder. You got a power switch, grind, single cup, double cup. You even got the logo there. Well, these have to be inspired by the real machines. Whether or not they got the right to do it, I don't know, likeness, man. Anyway, there, see, so easy. Fear, quick drop test, all the little legs flew off. That was it, man. We don't need to drop it anymore. Now where'd that piece go? Okay, I'll look for it later. This one here is my favorite one. I built this going, holy crap, I've never done anything quite like this. It was super fun to put together. Look at the detail on that. Dang, man. This one is the Venetian coffee machine, summer evening. I like the colors, it looks very pro. It looks really nice. Okay, I told you it wasn't perfect. So the bottom here, the leg that just came off, the clutch, maybe not perfect. You gotta push down a little bit there. I can still pick it up there. And also the sides kind of lock in on each side, so they can pull off. And this back handle here can come off pretty easily, but they use inverted bricks along the back here, I'll flip it like that, and that kind of holds pieces into place, and I like those. You see, there goes the legs, so easy to come off. Still totally fine, man, even if it's like loose down there. You're not gonna like play with this thing, it's a coffee machine, man. If it could only make coffee, that would've been nuts, right? You can have plastic black coffee. You know, I'm a sucker for chrome pieces, so when I see like the little pipes here, this is like where the steam comes out from the milk, right? The clutch is not the best, it might pop off on you. But you know, again, you're not supposed to be playing with these things. You got these parts here, nothing, don't really move or anything. I mean, you can kind of move this like that. I'm not sure if you're supposed to. Look at the croissant, these like chrome croissant pieces. And look at all the, like those vent parts or the curls. Lots of chrome, yes. You look along the top, all prints, man. Switch, grind, single cup, double cup. Even have the power switch print there and the, the buttons along the top and the logo of the coffee itself. The back also has a bunch of prints. Nice, and look at the bottom. Yo, it's like a cool looking coffee spaceship looking thing. I love this one a lot. You know what, just get it. This is awesome. Even if you're not a coffee guy, you love building this. I thought it was a lot of fun. Let's look at the last one. So the last one here is the classic coffee machine. It's not really white, it's like vanilla cream. I don't know, you guys can tell me what color this is. This was super solid, super fine to put on. I only had one missing piece, and it was on the piece on this cup handle, which you probably really can't notice at all. But look at this thing, this thing is crazy, yo. And I think this is the new type of brick piece I've never seen back here where you put the water inside. I think you lift it up, there you go. Look at that, it has the studs there. And you build a little bit on the top here. This might be cool for like a little rooftop thing. You know, when you get it with this set. So this better sell good, man, because man, that must have cost money to make this piece here. And it just slots in like that. Don't put water in it, man. Water will totally flow out of this thing. Put it in there, turn it over here. Get your cup ready. We'll look at this in a second, it's pretty cute. And look at the detail there, more chrome pieces. This part doesn't move at all. The, I think the little pipe thing it does here, oh, there you go. Awesome, man. I think it's so cool. But what's the coolest thing too? If I go like that and you look here. What the temperature? It really works. Like, whoa. Yo, they didn't have to do that, man. And yeah, more printed pieces and the chromeness on that. And look along the top, more detail. Come on, man. You ain't never seen anything like this. Big L won't make anything like this. All you guys are like, no, this is all fake. Dude, this, this kind of stuff is actually making Big O look kind of fake, man. I'm actually pretty proud to have this on display, man. It's amazing. Okay, and then you finally got the cup here. Would you like a little cuppa? And look, they got the latte art there. That's so cool, man. And a little logo there. And there you go. 
Same deal, if I drop this one, this one probably won't break apart. This one will. I'm not gonna drop these for you guys because I need to save some time on my videos and I don't have time to put these all back together. You're gonna have to trust me. This one will fall apart and these two will probably be okay. And now I gotta go find a leg for this one because it's popped off somewhere. Anyway, there you go. Decools coffee machine series available on my store, brickmeupscotty.com or anywhere else you can buy them. Go buy them, buy them right now. They're so, so good. I love these guys. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's time to go really have some coffee. Until next time, you guys, break me out. Thank goodness. There you go.